From Hunt for the Wilder People to Thor Ragnarok to his recently announced Star Wars picture, this Kiwi director is taking the movie world by storm. I'm Dave Baker and today we're going to list 100 facts you didn't know about Taika Waititi. Taika David Cohen, aka Taika Waititi, was born on August 16th, 1975. He grew up in Rokokor in the Bay of Plenty region of New Zealand's North Island. His father, Tiger Waititi, was a Maui farmer and an artist of the Te Wanapanui. His mother, Robin Cohen, is of Russian Jewish heritage and worked as a school teacher. Taika graduated from Victoria University of Wellington with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in 1997. During this time, he was fascinated with painting and writing and pursued both equally. During his academic years, he used his mother's surname for his film work and his father's name for his painting. He opted to keep Waititi as his professional name after some success from his first short film. He got an early break in his acting efforts when he was featured in a role in the successful low-budget film Scarfies. In 2005, he won an Oscar nomination for his short film Two Cars, One Night. He famously pretended to fall asleep when the nominations were being read out, which caused quite a stir with Academy members. Off the back of this nomination, he was able to find financing for his first feature-length film, titled Eagle vs. Shark. The film co-stars his real-life friends, Jemaine Clement of Flight of the Concords fame, and his then-partner, Lauren Horsley. Later that same year, YTT was brought in by Clement to direct an episode of the TV show Flight of the Concords. His second feature film, Boy, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in 2010. The film follows the life of a young man named Boy, who is forced to come to terms with the fact that his estranged father might not be as heroic a figure as he thought he was. Waititi plays the role of the boy's less-than-responsible father, who returns home and causes trouble. Upon being released in New Zealand, the film was met with rave reviews and was a smash success. In 2011, Waititi was cast as Thomas Kalmaku in the Green Lantern film. Later that same year, Waititi directed the TV series Super City, starring Madeline Sami. It follows five different people all played by the same actress living in New Zealand. In 2013, filming began on What We Do in the Shadows, another collaboration between Jemaine Clement and Taika Waititi. About 10 years prior, they had made a proof-of-concept short film that encompassed the rough beats of this bigger-budget adaptation. It was titled What We Do in the Shadows, colon, Interviews with Some Vampires. Stu Rutherford, who is an IT technician and high school friend of YTT's, was originally told that he was going to be a much smaller part in the film. However, in post-production, the directors enjoyed his performance so much that they expanded his role during the editing process. The Lost Boys, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and Interview with a Vampire are all heavily quoted within the film. The film became very popular online and was pirated excessively by a website in Mount Wellington, Auckland. After the production got the website shut down, it was revealed that What We Do in the Shadows has been pirated over two 277,000 times. A proposed sequel titled What We Do in the Moonlight, starring the werewolves in the film, was also in development for a period of time. The film ran into unspecified production and development issues, and has been stuck in development hell ever since. Clement and YTT have since started referring to the film as We're Wolves, and talk about wanting to produce it constantly. In conjunction with Discovered New Zealand in June of 2014, YTT produced a promotional short film titled A Vampire's Guide to Wellington, the half-vampire spoof, half-fake documentary feature film premiered at the January 2014 Sundance Film Festival to rave reviews. In order to facilitate U.S. distribution of the film, the pair launched a Kickstarter in order to fund the endeavor. During this time, YTT wrote and directed the mid credit scene of Doctor Strange. He also wrote the first draft of Moana, however he did not receive screen credit for this due to the fact that the final product drastically differed from his work. In September of 2016, YTT and Clement produced a comedy series based on the police officers from What We Do in the Shadows. This the series is titled Wellington Paranormal. YTT and Clement were given $1 million to produce six 30-minute episodes of the series, which aired on TVNZ No. 2 on July 11, 2018. A second series of 13 episodes was also produced. An American adaptation of What We Do in the Shadows was set up at FX, and a pilot was ordered in 2018. Jermaine Clement and YTT would executive produce and write and direct the pilot. This show would be set in Long Island and follow four new vampires. British comedy icon Matt Berry would be cast as the vampire named Laszlo. In May 2019, it was announced that FX had renewed the series for a second 10-episode season, which would feature cameos by Mark Hamill, Haley Joel Osment, and a bevy of other performers. YTT's next theatrical feature would be the film Hunt for the Wilder People, starring Sam Neill. The film is based on the book Wild Pork and Watercress by author Barry Crump. YTT first began adapting the book in 2005, writing multiple drafts of the film. 
The initial drafts were very close to the source material, however later drafts drifted away and became the work that is much more distinctly Taika Waititi's taste. Waititi cast Julian Dennison after they worked together on a commercial. The film had a budget of approximately 4.5 million New Zealand dollars, or 2.74 USD. Roughly 2 million of this money came from the New Zealand Film Commission. The film was shot over 5 weeks and completed using only a single camera. The film would go on to become the highest grossing New Zealand film of all time, pulling in 1.2 six million New Zealand dollars its opening weekend. It went on to gross over 16 million in Australia, England, and North America. Based off this success, YTT began being courted by Marvel to potentially take over Thor 3. He got the job because he made a proof of concept sizzle reel where he put footage from the previous Thor movies over Led Zeppelin's Immigrant Song. Chris Hemsworth, who was originally from Australia, knew Taika before working with him on the film. During the pre-production cycle, YTT consulted with the theoretical physicist Clifford Johnson on the realities of space travel. He provided key feedback on how the devil's anus would work in real life. Anus? Wait, 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 who's anus? Waititi used the artwork of Jack Kirby as a chief creative inspiration for the film's visual aesthetic. So much so, in fact, that the Grandmaster's costume is directly inspired by a theater costume that Jack Kirby designed for a theater production of Julius Caesar in the late 60s. Some of the elements from Thor Ragnarok were taken directly from the Planet Hulk storyline in the Incredible Hulk comics written by Greg Pak. Many fans thought that the end of Avengers Age of Ultron was setting up a direct adaptation of Planet Hulk. However, this didn't come quite true. Thor Ragnarok took parts of the storyline that involved Hulk being trapped on a planet and forced to be a gladiatorial soldier. When asked about his approach to the film, YTT said, A lot of what we're doing is kind of dismantling and destroying the old idea and rebuilding a new, fresh way. Everyone's got a slightly new take on their character, so it feels actually like we're doing the first Thor. The cinematography and the flashback sequences in the film were inspired by Renaissance masterworks. YTT cast himself as the part of Korg. Principal photography for Thor Ragnarok began on July 4th, 2016. The film was shot under the fake working title, Preacher Report. While on the press tour for the film, YTT cited Big Trouble in Little China as one of the chief creative inspirations. The film would undergo extensive reshoots where large plot elements would be reconfigured, including how and where Odin died. For the sequence in the film, where Loki is staging a play recreation of the events of Thor The Dark World, the actor that plays Thor in this is actually Chris Hemsworth's real-life brother, Luke Hemsworth. For the same sequence, Chris Hemsworth suggested Matt Damon play the part of Loki. Waititi cast his Hunt for the Wilder People star, Sam Neill, as Odin. Thor Ragnarok grossed a total of $854 million worldwide. Due to the box office success of Thor Ragnarok, Fox opted to produce a script that Taika Waititi had written some years earlier titled Jojo Rabbit. The script was an adaptation of Christine Yunin's book, Caging Skies. In 2018, Waititi and his longtime wife and producing partner, Chelsea and Stanley, divorced. They have two children together. Tei Wunakahu, who was born in 2012, and Matewa, who was born in 2015. Principal photography on the film started on May 28, 2018. Jojo Rabbit had its world premiere at the 44th Annual Toronto International Film Festival on September 8, 2019. The film did well at the box office, generating $90.3 million. The film was nominated for Critics' Choice Awards, Golden Globes, Humanitas Prize, PGA, SAG, and TIFF's People's Choice Awards. It also was nominated for five Academy Awards, with Taika Waititi taking home the Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay. Waititi's next next project was going to be a live-action adaptation of the Akira anime by Katsuhiro Otomo. However, Marvel wanted him back to direct the next Thor sequel, titled Thor Love and Thunder. Taika Waititi opted to direct Thor, and the Akira film is now indefinitely on hold. Thor Love and Thunder will bring Natalie Portman back to the MCU as Jane Foster. However, this time she'll be wielding Mjolnir and have the powers of Thor. The film will be a loose adaptation of the Jason Aaron comics where Jane Foster becomes the God of Thunder. The villain is rumored to be the God Butcher, which Waititi has talked about liking as a villain in interviews before. In October 2019, Waititi revealed that the fan favorite Korg will also be returning for the sequel. The film will be co-written by Jennifer Keaton Robinson and Waititi. It's currently scheduled to be released February 11th, 2022. In August of 2019, Variety reported that the director would adapt the documentary Next Goal Wins for Disney. This documentary followed the American Samoa soccer team as they attempted to qualify for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. In 2001, American Samoa lost 31-0 to Australia. This is the worst loss in international football history. The film will be an account of how the team attempts to reclaim their legacy after becoming a global laughingstock. 
on May 4th, 2020, it was announced that YTT would be co-writing and directing a Star Wars feature film. YTT is also set to co-write and direct the upcoming adaptation of the Oni Press comic book series by Rick Spears and James Callahan, The Auteur. Jude Law will star as the titular crazed filmmaker Nathan T. Rex. In March 2020, it was also announced that YTT was attached to direct two animated series about the characters from Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. One of the series will purportedly adapt the typical story from the novel. The other will follow the Oompa Loompa characters from the novel and expand their backstories and complexities. And that's it! Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below! And as always, like, share, and subscribe for more Total Nerd videos.